the Cartoon Vegas booth number four located in beautiful my garage. I'm your host Tillman and today we're gonna draw Johnny Depp. But first, look at this. This is the Nexus newspaper. Now old comic fans will remember Nexus as being one of the most fantastically written, fantastically drawn comic strips about a reluctant executioner with superpowers ever made. Now Nexus has not been around in a while, but now it's back. It's available through subscription only, and, and I can't stress this enough, it's cool because, and I was really surprised by this myself, it's huge. Look at this thing. It's tremendously large. I've never owned anything this big. So, listen, if you're interested in anatomy, or sequential storytelling, or inking, or just pro-level comics in general, you will never regret buying this. The only other way that you can get yourself this close to comics pro-level work is to buy original pages. Uh, so if, like me, you don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on original pages, spend tens of dollars get this and just appreciate and understand what it takes to do comics at this level. I can see in this, I can see where the inker made a line and there's a little bit more ink bleeding into the paper on one side than the other because because of the tilt of the pen, things like that. I've never seen that before. I'm very impressed and uh, you will be too. So links in the description, please go take a look. Um, Anything you spend goes straight to the creators, Mike Barron and Steve Rood, the original makers of Nexus, still at it now in 2016. Uh, you'll be glad you did. So, okay, plug over. Let's draw Johnny Depp. Now, I'm, a, I'm more serious this time about trying to hit a five minute target. And so this, uh, this version of Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow, he's gonna help me in that in a very short time I'll be able to get a likeness. Uh, hat, facial hair, makeup, easy. But he's gonna hurt me in that there is a lot of detail in his costume, and I would really like to get it all, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Not in five minutes. So we're going to see if I can do the uh, very quick, mostly accurate, just barely enough details, Captain Jack Sparrow. It's going to be tough, because, you know, dreadlocks, they're among the, the slowest kind of hair to draw. You know, it's harder, tight little curls, but uh, dreadlocks are still a challenge, and, and he has, with this makeup, he has a pretty wide variety of hairstyles within his one hairstyle. He's got straight hair up here at the top, big fat dreads coming out here, wrapped in strings, hair with beads over here. Quick sloppy beads. Some kind of popsicle stick in his hair there. I don't know what that thing is. And little tiny dreads over here, and then some of it dreads with hair coming out and becoming straight again. And then look at this curly hair over here. It's incredible. What a ton of freaking detail in this costume. And the thing is, I'm about at my limit for time that I can take drawing a black and white drawing if I'm going to still color it and try to hit five minutes. So, yeah. Got to get that soul patch part of the beard. It's important. All right. Signature for posterity. Now to do some really fast coloring. 
see in the picture I've chosen that he has a pretty, pretty standard kind of flesh-colored face in this. Now, as the movies went on, he got progressively dirtier. And I'm going to make him pretty dirty. So I'm just using yellow and brown. Make him dirty and tan. Really, I think I think I can do this whole thing using only uh, five colors or so. We'll see. So far, I've got four in my hand, and I know that what I'm going to grab next is red for rosy cheeks, lips, and this bandana. The rest of it, blonde highlights and brown hair. Try to leave out a little bit for highlights on the left side, like I like to do. Try not to forget anything there. And then maybe just only red beads. Red and yellow. Oh, I do need one more color. Alright, it's a, it's a six color drawing. That is a very sloppy and fast Captain Jack Sparrow. That looks just enough like him that I'm going to say it's, it's fine. We're going to keep it. Alright, thanks for watching and join us next time when we draw somebody else. See ya.